The 2008 film, Seven Pounds. This is an emotional journey from again, and I really adore this film for what it is. I had enjoyed it so many years ago, and it's still an entertaining film all these years later. And I must admit, this is a movie that probably should have won an Oscar, and I was shocked that it had never did. What an emotionally impactful film this one is. So the story of this one is that Ben Thomas, he is an IRS agent. His goal is he must choose seven strangers whose lives he's going to change after he accidentally killed seven other people in a car accident. And from there, it's such an impactful film that you really care about Ben Thomas and what he goes through throughout this movie. I have to say, when I first saw this film in theaters, I was amazed by it. In the acting, the music, the story, it all makes for quite the viewing experience. Seeing Ben Thomas go through this depression after he ended up accidentally killing those seven people, you really understand his emotional pain and you really realize that this man has been through so much. And it's all because he made that one decision when he was driving that car. I must admit, this film will make you laugh, it will make you cry. It will really make you care about how important life is. And that is what this movie is really trying to teach, is that with one decision, we can not change so many people's lives if we choose to. At the end of the day though, despite this film being nearly 15 years old, it is still being talked about today. I must admit, the chemistry between Will Smith and Rosario Dawson is better here than it was in Men in Black 2. Like literally, these two characters, Ben and Emily, they meet each other, they fall in love, and then Ben finds out that she has congenital heart defect. And he does what he tries to do in order to try to save her. And I must admit, this film, yes, it'll get you crying. And not just that, but I will be spoiling this film, so spoiler warning. Don't watch this review if you haven't seen this film. But overall, I thought Ben, he was an interesting character in himself so, because he's not like Will Smith's other characters he's, he's played in other movies. He's not brash. He's not cocky. He is an introvert. He's quiet. And, you know, that's a good thing because it shows his characterization because he cares so much. Like, for example, helping that elderly woman earlier in the film. And then later on in the movie, he actually helps out that Hispanic lady and her woman because she was in a domestic uh, abusive relationship. And then at the end, you know, just, well, how do I put this exactly? He, you know, ends his life in order to save the woman that he loves because it was two reasons. I don't agree with what he did, but he did for two reasons. The first reason, because of how depressed he was. And the second reason really is because of how much he want not just save the woman he loved, but change the seven lives in this film. I mean, Willie Harrison is in this movie, and he gets his eyes at the end of this film. And I must admit, this movie is pretty sad, but it's also pretty hopeful as well, considering how many lives that Ben had changed. Michael Ewe, who also played the brother in this film, he did a good job. The only complaint I had about his character, he's barely in the movie. Yeah, he shows up for like, what, a few scenes, but overall I thought if he was in this film more, then I probably would appreciate his character. Overall though, this is a very enjoyable film. It's entertaining. Once again, it should have won an Oscar, but it didn't. And it's a movie that even nearly 15 years later still resonates with audience even today. I'm giving this film an 8 out of 10. Without question, I believe this is one of Will Smith's best films before he took a break from acting for three years. Now I do admit I would have changed one thing about this film. That was the lack of character development for Willie Harrison's character. I wanted to know more about that man, about what he was going through, and the mere fact how much Ben Thomas changed his life. Yeah, Ben Thomas did do that. He insulted him and began this movie. I get it though, this was about Ben's journey and despite how tragically it had ended, he did change those lives of those seven people in more ways than one. When it comes down to it though, while not everybody will enjoy this movie, this one has some important themes and life lessons we all can learn from. And that is my review of the film, Seven Pounds. 
Okay, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. All right, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.